Soccer Team. Let's go to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, The Opening Call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's opening call, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters. You'll see it on the left-hand side. You just hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149, six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%, and you can get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, when you get his newsletter, folks, you're also going to get approximately a dozen archives, so you'll really understand how he looks at the market every day and how he rides that Chapman wave, and you're going to be able to ride that wave right along with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. What's going on, Basil? Well, I think it was three Tuesdays ago, you and I were speaking, and I said in the Chapman wave methodology, I wanted to just show this chart, and what I did is I took this chart and I said, we always try to identify the lowest low bar, and then each successively higher peak, we alphabetize A, B, C, D, E, F, G, but that fourth highest peak called peak D, that if you get a buy signal that's upgraded to a buy mode, you should get that D. And I've been saying to you for quite some time now, we should get a leg D in the Chapman Wave methodology in the Dow, and today we just got that leg D. How about that? Yeah, and you remember I spoken about this in the sense that we had a peak D right here on the, what was it? this is a daily chart on the left, on the 14th of February at 34,231. We got a peak D just before that at 34,342, before the slide down to the 200 period moving average. So a chunk of the work that I've been wanting to do, and for subscribers, we've been uh, trading, we have the down, we have the um, three times long, uh, UDOW uh, for quite some time now on a long position. <clears throat> we actually have some from October, from the exact October low. <clears throat> so now we've accomplished what we wanted here, and now it's time for me to assess in the daily, this is the weekly in the middle, and on the right is the monthly, whether or not this is the time that there could be a very quick pullback, if this is the time to put in a short or just wait for a brief pullback to add even more to the long side. This is this is the moment I've been waiting for tonight. I'll be able to, we'll see where the market closes. But we've gotten to our leg D. A peak D means that whatever the high is today on the bar that you're looking at, if there is a pullback and that high sees a lower high on the next bar, that makes a peak. So this is still a leg D. We haven't made the peak yet. This is going to be very interesting. You can see in this middle chart, the weekly chart, there, there's the, the green and the pink uh, narrow channel line. I call that the inside track repellent line. And once it breaks above, it could become a propellant line. And it coincides exactly with the Dow high at 36,952 in January of last, uh, why did I say uh, 20, 20, it should be 2022. Um, we're right uh, cusping right against that resistance there. So we'll see if in April there's a breakout in the weekly and the in the monthly chart. That's going to be important. But this is where I need to do the homework. And the other thing I wanted to also mention was, <clears throat> I think it was last week I, I said to you that the DBA uh, Agricultural Fund, which we've been long for quite, quite a long time, uh, <clears throat> was doing very well. But it isn't all the grains. In fact, it's mostly the sugar this time. So look at this sugar chart. It's extraordinary. Look at that. So the DB, um, it rotates between the grains and the sugar. And right now, sugar's helping it a lot. So it's, it's climbed, and it's just going above in this long rectangle. It's The week is still young. There's still a whole couple of days to go before we wrap up on Friday at 4. But so far, it's snuck above the resistance line. And yours, your peak D before, and we're in leg C. If we break sharply above it now, that makes it C in the weekly. That means that this is still a positive chart. And then I thought I'd mention something. <clears throat> I haven't discussed this before, but for subscribers, we are long. This particular stock is called Symbotic Inc. It's end-to-end -end, uh, artificial intelligence. Basically, a guy, I, I believe his family had uh, grocery stores for deck, which was uh, generational. And then he decided with just getting too much work, he designed some robots. So he's de developed a robotic warehouse automation system. And so we're along. And, and today, look at this big spike today. So it's, 
It hit around number 29, inner leg F. I've got to be a little careful here. But look at this. I always talk about these Ds. And look at this D in the, oops, in the weekly chart. I've shown this to subscribers before we got in um, and then after we got in. Um, there was this huge move to 28.48. SYM is the symbol. Okay. Trading at 28.80 up uh, 280 today. Um, it made this fantastic spike, and then it just gave everything up from 28.48 to $8.75. So what I like to do is to use bar symmetry. I find the plumb line. If I can find what I think is going to be the low or the high, then there should be an equal number of bars from the left side to the right side. I call it left side, right side bar symmetry. And uh, we went there today, 28.48. It looked like it was a dream the other day when we were over here. But I said to subscribers <clears throat> in my weekend overview, which is an hour-long overview um, for the coming week and what's had transpired, that once we broke above this long wick, if we were able to close above it, that would be a really positive. And last week, we just snuck above it, and now look, look what's happened. We've broken to an all-time high. So I like to do this analysis. I'll do a little bit more in my show tomorrow so that folks can see it in the 10 o'clock hour, my Tiger Technicians hour, to see how I draw in these left side, right side price time matches. That's bar symmetry with a plumb line in the middle. And where you can use it, sometimes it doesn't fit. In fact, in the futures that we were looking at a little earlier, you can see here in the 10-minute the chart, we went to a peak D. We pulled back. I did a left side, right side match and it came in about two points lower at peak C and then it continued to climb right now it's in a leg F. So you can apply this, it's a fractal of human nature. So it applies to one minute charts, it applies to monthly charts, it doesn't matter, it's the same technique. So I thought it would be fascinating tomorrow for those and, and you can get a sense nice. of requests, requests tomorrow to Basil Chapman at tfnn.com and we'll do some live on the air. But I, I like this kind of technique because uh, it gives you some structure. And look, this SYM is holding so nicely above the nine-period moving average, which is sharply over the 14-period the in the daily. And look at this in the, in the Dow. The reason why I couldn't think of going short today before the peak D, usually as it's rising, I say maybe we can take a short, is because, yeah, it's the same thing. Look how strong the nine is above the 14. For that to turn down and close, well, the green, the nine go underneath the 14 period moving average, you'd have to see the Dow somewhere down to 32,800, about 1,000 points lower. So I have to be a little bit careful about being too aggressive here, at shorting uh, if I think there's going to be a turn down. But so far, we only have long positions, and they seem to be working out. But I like this technique because it gives you very clear parameters. Look, resistance in the weekly, resistance in the monthly, if the Dow in April can start, find its way towards 34,500, that'll be something completely different. If it fails, I have to watch the 32,800 as a support. And folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You had no newsletters, you're gonna see the opening call on the left-hand side. Just hit that button and you are off to the races. Basil, you have a great night, safe night, and of course, we look forward to the program tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Thank you very much, Tom, you too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back.